In this video we are going to learn about integers. Now the first question is what is an integer? Okay, An integer can be, uh, may not be the technical definition but it's kind of a whole number. Okay, And we know what whole numbers are. It's like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. Right? Not a fractional number. So in none of these cases we are talking about a fractional number which is something like you know a upon b. Obviously, 1 can also be written as 1 upon 1, 2 can be written as 2 upon 1, but technically not, not in that sense. It's not a fractional number that can be positive, which is what we have seen all over here. It could be negative, okay? Just like you have 1, you can have minus 1, you can have minus 2, you can have minus 3, minus 4, and it goes on like that. Or 0, which is what we have over here, right? So it's like, you know, you can say it's a collection of whole numbers plus the negative natural numbers, right? You can say it is a collection of all the positive natural numbers and all the negative numbers plus zero, right? Any of these definition would mean more or less the same thing, but it cannot be fractional, right? And the examples for integers can be something like minus five. It's a negative integer, as we call it. One which is a positive integer, something like which is as big as a six digit number. It will be 5,98,755 or you, in some parts you may also call it at 598,755. It could be eight. So all these three are positive integers. The one that we had over here is a negative one. Again, 97. It's a positive integer right so the integers could be positive they could be negative and even zero right so all the positive integers the negative integers and the zero together make the collection of integers but remember they're not a fractional number 